Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel, Miss Sahel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gwen. I am born and raised in France, but my parents are from Chad in Africa. So I have a beauty channel in French and I like to talk about makeup, hair care and all of that. Because I'm Chadian, every year I like to make a video about Chad because I'm very passionate about African culture. So I love to share some footage of Chad and I like to share our culture, the way we live and everything. And this year's video was about how some ethnicity here in Chad take care of their hair. So today I'm going to answer all of your questions from my previous video. A friend of mine did my voiceover in my previous video because I wanted a native speaker to make the voiceover because English is not my first language and I'm not super comfortable speaking in English. So please bear with me. I have been interested in how those women care their hair for a long time. I wanted to meet them, but everyone here in Chad was telling me, don't waste your time meeting those women. It is genetic, blah, blah, blah. But my grandmother is from the ethnicity that you saw and she didn't have hair that long. So I was like, if it is, if it is genetic, so why my grandmother didn't have hair that long? So I thought it must be something they do and not genetic because if it was genetic, my grandmother, my mother and me should have hair that long. But no, it is not genetic. It is something they do. It is how they carry their hair that make their hair grow that long. And they explained it to me because they do not put the shabby powder on the front of their hair and the front of their hair stay really kinky and really short but the rest of the hair grow long and the rest of the hair doesn't look kinky it look the hair is looser because of the weight of the powder and of the oil and all the moisture because because of all this weight the hair looks looser the texture of the hair is looser okay so no guy, it is not genetic, it is about the technique, okay? So there's something I want to tell you because I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. You are not obliged to buy the Shea Bay to grow your hair long. I think the natural hair community here on YouTube is so huge that you have many ways to carry your hair and there is plenty of black women who are not mixed, who grew their hair really long because they have the right routine for them they do protective style they keep their hair moisturized they really care their hair and they were able to grow their hair long so you are not obliged to buy the shebe to grow your hair long it is up to you if you want to try it out okay and a lot of people ask me like did you try the shebe for yourself no and i'm gonna tell you why shebe is not for everybody okay for example me I like to wear my box braids, I like to wear my wash and goes with my clipping, so I don't see where I can fit the shebe into my routine, okay? But if you are someone, if you are someone who wears protective style all the time, if you like to wear wigs and your hair is always braided up underneath, if you are someone who wears the veil, if you don't mind wearing two braids on the front and two braids on the back like they do, like they do, I think if you are in that case, Shebe can fit your lifestyle and you can try it out. But if you are in my case and you like your box braids, you like your wash and goes, you like your clippings, Shebe is not for you, okay? I don't want to come out here and say that you need to buy this to grow your hair long, no. You can have the right routine and grow your hair, okay? A lot of people ask asked me like if I can give you the name of the ingredients so the name of the ingredients are in the description box of my video but honestly those ingredients are very specific to Chad and maybe Sudan okay I don't think you can find those ingredients in the West honestly so 
the list is in the de description box a lot of people asked me why they don't have edges <laughs> they don't have edges because they are braiding their hair in the front too tight so they have tracking alopecia okay but they don't care you know why they don't care because here in chad in some ethnicity it is considered beautiful to have a huge forehead okay so those women don't care but you must care if you want edges you must keep your hair you must keep your braids loose okay so a lot of people ask me do they wash their hair no they don't they never wash their hair all i showed you it's all they do okay they don't do anything more than i showed you and i asked them when i was with them so they do not wash their hair i am not telling you you must not wash your hair no i can only tell you what they are doing i'm not gonna tell you what you have to do okay so you need to adapt it to your own lifestyle and to your own routine personally I don't think I can last long without washing my hair okay so you must adapt it to your own lifestyle and to your own routine so a lot of people want to know how to buy the shit so actually we only have two vendors in Europe in France so we have Joanna and Celia Celia is shipping worldwide so you can contact her and next week we will have one vendor in the US Daniel so check out the description box to contact Danielle. So a lot of people wanted to know the title of the song. So the title of the song is in the description box of the video. So please check it out. Does it smell? Okay, so it smells like roasted nuts and henna, okay? The original recipe was made with butter and it was very smelly. But now they changed the recipe and instead of butter, they are using their favorite pomade or their favorite leave-in or their favorite conditioner that they mix with some oil. And this recipe is not smelly. So Someone said there is only one woman in the video. No, there is three faces in the video and we have plenty of ethnicity and plenty of women here in chat with hair that long so no there is not only one person in all africa someone said why they don't put the shebe on the front because shebe is the powder and it can look dirty on the hair so they like to keep the front clean so they don't put any shebe on the front of the hair a lot of people are thinking that shebe is gonna grow your hair and no shebe is never gonna grow your hair your hair is growing naturally from your scalp and shebe is just here to keep your hair moisturized and lubricate and strong so the hair won't break for example if your hair is growing one centimeter a month it will take 12 months to grow 12 centimeter okay so shebe is never gonna make your hair grow your hair is growing naturally from your scalp and shebe is here to retain the length of the hair okay and shebe must not be put on the scalp okay so those women told me that you have to put the shebe away from the scalp because if you put the shebe on the scalp you can have dandruff okay? so you must keep the shebe away from your scalp so last thing guys i want to apologize because i haven't been able to answer all of you guys but i'm trying my best uh, i have someone who is helping me to answer your emails but it is not enough i need more people and here in chat it is not easy to find someone who speaks english to help me so it's gonna take time and every time there is a new vendor in your country i will keep you updated on instagram and i will update my description box on youtube i hope i answered all of your main questions i thank you for watching and i see you guys later